Welcome to our channel, Stephanie's Southern Kitchen. Today, I thought we would do a peach cobbler because it's one of the first ones when somebody gets married or moves into their own home and they want a home-cooked dessert, meal, whatever. It's one of the first things that you learn how to do because it is a very simple recipe. Okay, we've got one stick of butter, which is eight tablespoons, and then put it in the 350 degree oven let that be melting while we put our cobbler together. So it is one cup of milk, one cup of sugar, and one cup of flour. One teaspoon of vanilla, and one teaspoon of cinnamon. Then mix all that together while your butter's melting. You want it to be a very smooth consistency. And like I said, this is a very simple, quick, easy recipe. It's perfect for Sunday dinners, going on picnics, and anything else that you might need to take a dessert. I'll use the whisk, it'll make it go a little faster for you. If it has some lumps, it'll all cook up, it'll be okay. But I like to make sure it's as, as creamy as I can get it. Okay. We'll check our butter to see if it's melted, not quite yet. It'll take just a, a minute to get it melted. You want to melt the butter in the bottom so it doesn't stick. We can go ahead and be opening our peaches. It's 29 ounce can of peaches, or if you have the small cans, it's two of the small cans. You want to keep the syrup because that goes into your cobbler. So do not drain your peaches. Okay, I believe our butter is melted. Now we'll go get it out of the oven. Make sure to put it on a towel or something so you don't burn your counter if you put it on the counter. Stir your mixture again, just make sure it's still all stirred up. Pour it in on top of the butter. Okay, kind of level it all out with the butter. Sure the butter's, make sure the butter is evenly distributed. Then take your peaches, put the syrup in. Like I said, making sure it's even. Then I like to take a spoon, get the peaches out, making sure that 
they're in there evenly too. Okay. okay, you can kind of move them around a little bit as you see it needs it. One more peach left. Okay, then what I like to do is take another spoon, take my sugar. This is optional, but I think it makes the crust taste so much better. Kind of sprinkle sugar as much as you think you would like. I, we like a lot of sugar in this family. Okay. Then take your cinnamon and do the same thing. Doesn't take a whole lot because you've already put it in there once. Kind of make it spread out evenly over it. but it does give it a lot more flavor doing that. Okay. Then we'll take our mixture, put it in the oven for 50 minutes. I usually check on it about 45 minutes, something like that. And it's just according to how well you like it. We like a nice crisp crust on it. So I usually let it go just maybe five minutes more. Sometimes I don't have to. It's just you want a nice golden crust. We will wait on that and we'll set our timer for 50 minutes. Alexa, set timer 50 minutes. 50 minutes, starting now. Okay, my timer's going off. Alexa, turn timer off. So we'll get our peach cobbler out of the oven. It looks delicious. Okay, I've got a couple bowls here and we'll put some peach cobbler in the bowls. And a lot of times you want to let it sit, maybe five, 10 minutes, something like that. But for time, we'll go ahead and uh, plate it up for you. So you see, it's got a very good brown crust. And then, of course, we have to put ice cream on top to go with it. You can use ice cream or Cool Whip. And you can use this same recipe for um, raspberries, strawberries, any other kind of berries that you like. And you can make blackberry, blackberry cobbler. That's one of my favorites. Peach and blackberry is my favorite. But we've also made strawberry and it was very good too. So if you, or if you are enjoying these movies, just uh, hit like and subscribe, and we will see you next week. Thanks. Bye. And that's your peach cobbler. Thanks for watching.